some like context uh, uh, or like something that I'm missing. Yeah, just yeah, to... homie. Yo, dude. Yeah, homie. Yeah. What's up, Tugs? All right. Tugs, let them know about Shamu. Let them know. All right. I'm Tugs, all... Tell me, tell me it ain't as bad as uh, is it sounding, bro? He. Right, I'm going to give you the full thing because like Shamu like the small thing in this whole thing. So okay. I would dare yesterday from beginning to end. Um, I right, so obviously, you know, everything going on with Rosa, right? Uh, like, go ahead and start from the beginning. I've heard it, but I don't mind hearing it twice. All right. So um, I'm just going to give it like how I see it, right? Like this is obviously not everyone going to feel the same, but Rosa be isolated for some time, right? But I fell into the, you know, it's on her to like call up motherfuckers as well. You know what I'm saying? But she kept saying like I isolated, isolated. Then obviously we had, we had that big meeting like a week and a half ago where, you know, it was over in uh, Yellow Jack. Yellow Jack, is that what it called? And Kay yep. said, you ain't gonna be hanging out with Tony anymore. None of that lovey dubby stuff. And that was like across the board. You know what I'm saying? No relationship with the police, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, at that point, she said, listen, I'm doing it for the crew. Ain't going to happen anymore. I'm going to cut it off. Um, Tug, you day smoking the ember of that joint right there, dog? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you don't smoke your joint. Oh, yeah. that's how, oh how we do okay. Now. Sorry, I shouldn't have yeah, even yeah. questioned. Continue. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, a couple of days go by. And um, some shit went down. And I'll tell you what the shit is in a moment. Okay. And then a couple of days later, some shit go down. And I think everybody heard like a little bit of something, right? Like, ultimately, we knew something happened to her that resulted in her going into ICU. Right? Word was from like the various people like Paris, Carmela, stuff that was said to Kay, et cetera, et cetera. She had been put into ICU because... What the fuck is his name? Woodlock? Not Chuck. The the, the fat ass motherfucker. Woodcock. 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 Yeah. Apparently Woodcock had paid for a hit on Rosa by a guy named Slim. Now, why Slim did it? I don't know. Um, apparently he took money to do it. Is he close to Woodcock? Who fucking knows? Rosa, get up. Get out of ICU. And now the story's starting to unfold and looking like she'd been talking to Tony. Shit hit a mm. boil two night back where I, she was with Tony. And not only was she with Tony, but she was there. Now, this is after Kay said what he did. It, that she witnessed, she got a ping from Tony, supposedly according to her, got a ping from Tony after she was going to call him to break up with him. And she witnessed... Uh, detective. I want to say, what the fuck was her name? Devereaux, the one that the, the one that used to have blue hair. Familiar. Donovan, right? That's Donovan. Donovan, that's the one. Get Examakuti by Tony, and that ain't just it. A couple day later, she with Tony when they try to clack Woodcock. So now all of a sudden. Instead of separating Ty, now all of a sudden, her shit kind of had become our shit, right? Because even if she was doing shit with Tony, even if this was all on Tony, now it would make us look bad because she affiliated with us. You know what I mean? Of course. And like cops are getting clacked and shit like that. So, uh, Kay obviously pissed. He's like, what the fuck? What this all about? So we pick up Tony. It sounded like she ignored a direct order too. Uh, exactly. It wasn't okay. even like Continue. something like middle ground, right? Yeah. So, um, we pick up Tony yesterday night and Tony was with a lady, a dude, and Shamu. Now we took the three of them and we brought them to like the nipple palace, you know, the little teenage mutant into the turtle spot. Yeah. And we let Shamu go. Why? Cause obviously he's doing things for us, right? Like the whole thing, yeah. something, uh, he's doing a bunch of shit for us. Um, as we're bringing Tony and the two people later, we find out is like the sister and his lawyer, all part of the Mills family. 
as we're bringing him down or, and as we're setting him up before we even pick up Rosa, K getting texts, I'm getting texts, Rami getting texts, Vinny getting texts, like three of us, I, one of us didn't, but anyway, we're all getting texts saying that motherfuckers know that we got Tony. Like I got one, I got a text from an ADA. Vinny got one from some other dude. Like, like, and apparently Joey know how motherfucking Shamu, bro. Had to be Shamu. Exactly. He went out there and started smitching to everybody. Now, whatever, we table that shit. We bring in Rosa. So now Roba, Rosa on one side of the, the den. Tony and his family member on the other side. We keep them separated. K asks, you know, talks a little bit to Rosa. And she on this, oh yeah, I did everything. Blame me for everything. Bullshit. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that there was, she was kind of isolated for a bit. But regardless of how she felt at the end of the day, she was in so motherfucking deep and she ain't admitting to it. And now we could have like motherfucking, you know, we can get fucked in the ass, bro. I mean, to hear you cops say this, Tugs, I've, I've had, I've had suspicion of Rosa for a long time and you've always shot that shit down. So to hear you say this is, you know, oh. I, I take it pretty heavy, to be honest. I mean, I'm Bad always Rose is back for a while, but that's the thing. I'm going to give someone like as much rope, right? Benefit of the doubt. But if you were like, what I heard her say yesterday was on some, like, I don't give a fuck how it affect anyone. Bullshit. Right? Like you can say all you want. Are you doing it for family? Doing it for a family. But when you got that deep and here's the thing. When you get that deep and don't, don't say shit, she, as soon as she got an ICU, I got word that she had a will written, bro. I have that will right now if you guys would like to see it. Let boom, me hear boom. it. He called me first when she woke up. I think she thought she was going to confide in me and like I was going to take her side, but I just brought her to the boys and we had that meeting. So she's probably not going to hit me up anymore. Um. All right. So Rosa Garcia, last will and testament. Here it is. Rosa Garcia being out of sound of mind, not acting under under uh, duress or uh, influence, Wait, fully understanding the uh, the nature and extent of property of this Shirley? disposal thereof. Do hereby make, publish, and declare this document to be the last will. All businesses oh, owned by Garcia shall be given to Paris Argo Carmelo Corset. Any outstanding fees associated will be held by the Garcia estate prior for their takeover. What the fuck? My financial assets shall be given to Mr. K. My 9F drafter shall be given to Gomer. My dog, Leroy Brown, with a necklace with a gold plan, shall be given to Tony. M Tony. My large pile of cocaine on Cayo Perigo shall be given to Vinny Pistone. A note that says you're still a dumb bald bitch. One gold girly card stashed behind the toilet and behind my mama shall be presented to Rami. And a new wardrobe of bad bitch attire shall be paid for by the Garcia estate for Arya Shah. What the fuck? Did you tell the part where she took all the money out the Bahamas account? Yeah. yeah. I, all the cocaine. Yeah. Wayne, you see that, right? Yeah, I'm one. Didn't I'm trying to be it. like as chronological just so I don't like yeah, it miss any detail. So apology. No, no, you good. You good. So we find about this will, right? And that for, I think, at least for myself, but I think it hit others the same is like, think about it this way. If you write in a will, the moment you get out of ICU, you know, you fucked up real bad, mm -hmm. right? It ain't no like, and she didn't have any remorse, bro. Her like she went stone cold. Why? Cause you got kidnapped after your dumb ass got us dragged in. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, now, I was getting that thing. Yeah. So now they get Tony and Rosa get put face to face with each other. Both given a knife. We had weapons out on them. And Elizabeth Reed, who's a lady with Tony, apparently his sister, also known as uh Lizzie Mill, behind him. Next to her, a dude, blonde hair, a name. I don't remember what the fucking name is. He's like a possum encoder. Uh, also in the Mill family. They stood there and watch. Mm. 
And uh, order was either Rosa going to murk Tony or the other way around, or Tony going to murk Rosa. Tony gave his like, I love you, goodbye bullshit. You got to do what you got to do. Listen, you, my sister got to live on and with the family and all that shit. Just take me out. Rosa mm -hmm. at gunpoint is a stabbing his ass. And then we gun his ass down on top just to make sure the work done. You feel me? And Rosa, you could tell, was had it very, did not want to do any of that shit. I will even question if she wasn't going to stab him to begin with. And she had a lot of words to say after that fact. Like, we dead to her and all this bullshit. So, you know that shit between them were fucking real. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, even if it may have good. started a certain way, it ended another way. And... Um... Rosa then got out there, and that's when we found out about, you know, as we're letting everyone else know what had gone down, uh, we find out that she had transferred a million dollars to Gomer uh, from Bahama Mama. Um, I mentioned in that because, like, there were, like, 10, 15 other people who heard that phone call. Uh, that's getting sorted. Gomer know about it, all that shit, right? You're going to figure that bit out uh, just so it don't look a certain way. Um, yeah. and as to what happened with Rosa, right? Like she's th spoken to a couple people probably, but we don't know what she planned to do. I don't even know. I don't think anyone know what Kay planned to do. I think he given her enough rope to see if she kind of like snap out of it. But ultimately he could wake up today and be forgiven or end up exit McCoon or so either Yo. way. I think we're trying to wait on doing anything because otherwise it can be obvious right mm -hmm. if they go both go missing the I final talks. sorry the sorry, final thing no the thing about the Kyra Mariko dude now Tony apparently in a motherfucking cartel been a while even before he was a commissioner and family probably know a bunch of people know what I'm saying like they well off Wayne this is where you come in and tell Tugs what happened. Again, I know you do you gotta don't wanna explain it again, but yeah, please. All right, here we go. All right, Tugger. Uh, I pull yeah, up yeah. on the island earlier, see? I'm just exploring a little bit, you know. I see that I can like rent a car. So I go, there's like a fifteen thousand dollar big dirty car I can rent. So I rent it. I drive maybe like five meters. Boom, military man with a big dirty like G thirty six of right in my face. Get the fuck out of the car. Get the fuck out of the car. Baba, get the fuck off my island. Fuck doing here, blah blah blah. Oh I get shit! Off, I get on my boat. I ride back to the Russian docks. I get to the Russian docks. I'm what waiting for Chody to come. Maybe like passes by. A couple minutes pass by. A fucking Apache helicopter come above me, big man, just for like ten seconds, just circling around me. Boom! Went back to the island. Oh, there's something going on over there, brother. Something going on. Man, I know. I mean, I mean, you know their coat. I mean, otherwise, mm. where the fuck Rosa finding Coke from Pyro Mariko? You know what I'm saying? And Coke's mm. been finding its way into this city lately. Let's be honest. Exactly, bro. I mean, think about mm. where the old man going, bro. And it's, it not like it Rosa is. like was tapped in with us to know about the other shit. That probably the source, homie. And it wouldn't surprise me if Tony the one that show her. So. Mm. Well, where there's smoke, there's ganja. Uh, the only other thing that I can think of off the top of my... Oh, yeah. Two other things. Uh, I also got word that... Uh, this uh, Go back to Shamu. Uh, when the cigar shop was open up, like there was an interim reviews. I don't know how many of y'all know about that. But Shamu was helping with the recruitment, like holding the line, whatever. After all the interim review happened, we conducted some business. Motherfuckers got clacked. Well, Solomon walked in and you notice that Shamu been standing there for like 30 60 minutes we had cleared the place keep that in mind and after he shooed Shamu off Solomon got curious and it turned out that the exact spot that Shamu was standing he could hear her thing mm. so right now <laughs> we think he worked for the Mills family or he might be moving around and I think most of us kind of feel like probably nothing should be done with him because he might be like a, like, you know, when you squeeze someone, they just start squeaking even harder. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Like, I think it's going to be one of those situations. Yeah. Holy fuck. Kay, Kay was also saying, uh, Tugs, I don't know if you want to touch more on this, but when he called me on the phone call, he was saying that, like, watch out for Rosa because she was, I guess she was pillow talking and saying stuff about the gang and she feels left out and all this other shit, what the gang's doing. I think she's, I don't know if she said it to Tony, but this is what he told me on the phone. So he doesn't know if she gonna turn into a rat. So it's kind of like just wants to watch her for a while, mm. see what she does, cause the ball's in her court type shit. Okay. Um. All right. Well, holy fuck! I'm gonna be honest. It's it's the craziest. Not happened in a day and a half. Huh? It's happened in a day and a half. I think I've ever heard. Two days. He was gone for two days, Hutch. Oh, oh I got one more thing. Apparently, there are five warehouses at our new weed spot, and the motherfuckers that live around there, the neighbors, they being hella like open, and oh, the cops Wayne. are all over the place. Wayne, need you again Yo, for this listen one. Listen to this, all right? So I'm pulling up. I show these, you know, I'm show these little babies early. I'm gonna water them, so I don't want to bring my car there. So I pull up on the beach. I swim out into the ocean, grab a boat, so I, so like a boat there, you know. So let's let's be it. So I'm pulling up. I'm almost there. I see another boat pull up onto the shoreline, like fucking send it straight up at our New warehouse. IRC hutch. Yeah, I mean they said they said keep using this one little by little. So I continue. So the man sends it up on the shore. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? But so I, I drive my boat around a little bit, see if I can see who it is, maybe see what he's doing over. But I, mean, I see nothing. So I'm like, fuck it, brother. I. I send it up on the shore too. Uh, I go up by the door where his boat was, and I have my gun out. He comes outside. I had my little Rasta drug drug thing on, but other than that, I was fully disguised. I was speaking this my voice. I'm like, "Yo, put your fucking hands up! What you do? Like, huh? what the fuck you doing here?" Because mm. I never been to Chody's warehouse yet. I thought maybe I don't fucking know that that was Chody's warehouse, you know? Yeah. I know it's in the area anyway. So the man comes out. I'm assuming it's a warehouse. I'm like, oh, fuck you doing out here, buddy? He's like, oh, I'm just like coming from my barber shop. So I check in pockets. He had like a couple of joints. Not, nothing too crazy, but yeah, on moving loose, brother. The man is sending boats up to the fucking, like right at that warehouse, brother. Our neighbors are crazy, big man. Jesus. That's not good. Nah, nah, nah. We gotta handle that. I mean, it sounds like we gotta, you know, kick some people out of that area. That that is what I'm thinking because otherwise hey. we could be like move so good over there, but all it takes is one or two other neighbors bringing all the cop down there. Don't matter how I good mean, you move. Yeah, exactly, bro. I mean, how <sighs> many times have we had in the history of us living in the city where? I mean, I can tell you right now, someone I've been, you know, cops have tried to raid me once and accidentally raided my fucking neighbor. You know, that that is a very real thing that can happen. Tacos and and Hutch, yeah. you wasn't Friday you wasn't here. So me and Chody and Wayne was in the weed houses chilling fucking shit, you know? They were showing me like the new weed. We was chopping it up, you know? And then the shit got hit. So we ended up fucking the guys up. And one still was up. Anto came and then we decided to go to the chicken coop. Cause we know they were gonna pick some of them motherfuckers up. I just probably like, the what coop. the fuck oh, is happening? Fight breaks out. <laughs> we all, I guess, all five of them are up. We fucked them up. We get their names. Uh, apparently, Chody was it JSR, JSA, JSA, JSA. This crew named JSA. I got, I got a couple of their names, but that happened Friday. They, they owe, that? they owe some money. We ain't seen them since. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen him since that. We ain't seen him since. Go figure. Rami told me to go check them, you know, ask them for, you know, they pretty much baited up our whole warehouse spot, right? So I'm like, yo, we want caught a million dollars for that shit. Look what happened. We lost our warehouse shortly after that, too. So we were going to say we want to caught a million dollars for that shit. Uh, no, apparently it's the was, like, it was Link's boy. Boys. Oh, got it. How's that but, shit? Is that shit done? Nah, they uh, dis we disappeared. Their ass. Oh, we well, ain't hunting. What we about just... Lynx? Lynx is not with them. That's squared off. Yeah, Lynx I is... know that. Nah, 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 nah. Ain't squared. 
Rami update. Cause we're waiting on Rami. Remember, like it was. Yeah. Has he said anything? Yeah, he. He's cooking right now. I think if it wasn't oh, for the God. Rosa thing, he'd know what the next step is. But he feeling for like some. We gotta wait until he like open up the pot, see what he got stirring in there. Mm, okay, I got you. But those those other Lynx's boys haven't seen them since either. It's, it's, it's just uh, it's just, just just ghost at this point, bro. Both gangs. Um, oh, dudes, my goodness. Yep. Yep. Oh. Look crazy. Well, Jay is saying, well, no, we fought uh, Lynx's boys the other day, remember? That's why we're in the new spot, right? We fucked them yeah, up, the, but, they, no. but they slipped in and got our shit. And we, we haven't seen them since when we said, exactly. yo, you owe us this, blah, blah, blah. They ain't been around since. Exactly, that was, yeah. That was... We're both uh, gonna be like that. You're right, you're right, you're right. Same that was... Coming. That was Friday. That was the same day that our shit got raided, no, Chody? Because the Friday morning is when it happened, and then Lynx's boys came in. Crazy Friday chat, huh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, yeah. It may, have been, it may have been a day separated, but I mean, yeah. at this point, it all blends together, bro. We've been like, dude, was this our fourth or fifth fucking warehouse, bro? I'm like losing count now. Like, this is getting crazy. So, oh. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of, everybody, everybody, take stuff. note. Everybody, take note of where the new warehouse is. If you, if you're, you know, haven't been around for a while. It's up at the old spot that Wayne and I used to hold down back in the day, up north. Bot the uh, Botanical Gardens. Yeah, Botanical Gardens, the Miller's Fishery, um, up in Grapeseed, where the dock is. All right, it and it's the, it's the big long building that actually has like the, it says like Miller's Fishery or Boathouse or something on the side of it. That's the building it's in. Well, on the right? other side of the Alamo City. Yeah, so if we ever have to respond and go up there. There is a big hill that overlooks the whole thing. Crazy overwatch, crazy angles. Uh, it's, you know, when you're down there near the door, you're kind of in a bucket, right? So if we ever have to push that shit, the people who are attacking are probably already going to be set up there. So you have to kind of think about, like, countering that type of shit. You know what I mean? Got, the past few times we've had these, like, defenses, it's been bad. Like, the last one was bad. That's why we lost the spot, right? So just everybody have like a little bit of a game plan on how you're going to get up there and like just actually try to hold this shit for a little bit longer than a day or two. Yo, I just hope I'm inside again when that shit gets real. Oh it's my sick God. When you're inside, you know. I know, right? It is mm -hmm. sick inside. I think it's better inside, to be fair. Well, we were holding that shit down versus five of them just off stream. Uh, Tony, Tony yeah. was my Tony's like, go sit there. <laughs> <laughs> I had to hit him with the M dollar. Yeah, Rami, I wake you know, up today. God damn. All right. Anyways. I feel a certain type of way. All right, bet, bet. All right. I think that current air tank. All right. Yo, you talk about what grind, brother? You doing some farming lately or something? Uh, nah, no farming. Why? What'd you say? Oh, she seemed like your accent changed up a little bit. Since yeah. I talked to you this morning. Yeah, I think it like the weed, bro. Oh. Oh. I'm trying to work on my like drill and shit like that. You know how motherfuckers like. You know, we, we, you know, you can't understand work they're working on. <laughs> yeah, I never under, really understood what you said just now, so there you go. Exactly, brother. dude. <laughs> That's perfect. Taco all was right. supposed to be here. I don't know what the fuck going on with him, but all right. Taco. <laughs> fuck you then, Taco. My Taco. This is probably right. him pulling up. He's coming right. up right now. I hear a van, so it's probably him. Yo, as soon as Taco joins the circle, we'll be like, all right, we'll see you guys later. Yeah, 100%. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get, I don't know why. Yeah, I tried, I've been trying to work on a little bit of Drilla. Fresh from my house. Wearing a work, yep, work suit. Yep, full jumpsuit, nice. All right, y'all. Thanks for uh, catching me up. I appreciate everybody. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, we'll see you later. Perfect.